Hi everybody, welcome to IBEX Running, and today we have Power Walk and Hills for you. My name is Rachel. Don't worry if you miss any of my call-outs. If you look over to your screen on this side, we'll have all the numbers, all the changes right over here. And you look over to this side, we'll have a progression bar showing you our, where we are from start to finish through this whole entire workout. So if you're ready, grab your water bottle, maybe a towel, look down on your tread. Let's get started in three, two, one, beautiful. We're gonna start with a 2.5, 3.5. Nice, easy warm up here. So the name of the game is power walking. All right, so we're gonna take our normal pace and we're gonna speed it up a little bit more. So we're moving just a smidge faster, right? So we have power walking, we have hills. We're saving our hills for the end. We're working our way towards them. Yep, so give me another minute. We'll start picking up our pace just a little bit more. So I'll get 2.5, 3.5. We're gonna take it up to a 3.0, 4.0. We're not in our power walk yet. We're still in our warm up. Yep, settle into your practice. Settle into your breath. Get familiar with your tread. Shake those shoulders out if you need it. Roll them down and back. Good, you can take it forward. If you're really coordinated, you can roll your neck from side to side. Good, let's take it up. 3.0, 4.0, just a little faster. Good. So, power walking. You wanna make sure one foot is on the tread the whole entire time. Yep. So you don't have to really change your pace when we're in our power walk. We do have recovery moments. After this, we take it 3.5 to 4.5. Remember, power walking, you wanna be closer to those fours in the 4.5. You're on the shorter side, don't worry about it. 3.5 is perfectly good. 30 seconds, 3.5, 4.5. Our power walks are two minute long. You get a one minute recovery. Here we go, 15 seconds. Get ready. We're not changing the incline until the very end. Let's go, 10. Got five, four, three, two, pick it up. Good, so it's a faster walk, all right? You're gonna feel a little bit quicker of a pace. You're gonna feel a little bit more going on in your abs. Remember, we're gonna hold our head nice and high. Chin that up, like a nice L shape into the throat. Again, squeezing that core. Two minutes here, then you get to go recovery for a minute. Take it down, maybe 0.5. So how you guys feeling today? Ready for the walking? Power walk, ha! You gotta have like a mood, you gotta have a vibe for power walking. You gotta be like super confident, I don't know. I feel like you ever see those power walkers? They're on a mission. They got one thing on their mind, and it's power walking. So keep it going. Good. Remember, as we're walking, don't look down. You look down, you go down. Don't look at the numbers, that's what I'm here for. I'll tell you when. You give me one more minute here. First recovery. So it's not that long of a workout, it's only 26 minutes of your life. You got it. Good. We're walking smoothly, rolling from heel to toe. 40 more seconds. As always, thank you guys for meeting me here on your tread today. You guys made the right decision. If your body's not warmed up, yeah, trust me, it'll be warmed up. Wait till we hit this recovery. The next power walk, you'll feel a whole lot different. Feel a little bit more confident, a little bit more powerful. Give me 10 more seconds. You're gonna take it down 3.0, 4.0. Remember, we're only 3.5 to 4.5, so just try to lower it down. At least 0.5 in three, two, one. Good. A little bit slower. Catch your breath. We're here for one minute, that's it. A little too slow for me. Gotta pick it up a little bit, I wanna be sweaty. It's power walking, even in that recovery. Good, keep going guys. One minute goes by fast. We're going right back. 
it's quick, it's fast, it's meant to pick up your pace. It's meant to be a little bit harder than your normal pace, than your normal walk. It's meant to give you a little out of breath. So let's do it, let's get there. 20 seconds. Don't forget to dance. You can dance in your recovery. I don't know if power walking and dancing goes that well. I'm not that coordinated. Here we go, 10 seconds. We pick it back up. 3.5, 4.5, and four, three, two, let's go. Right there. So, I said this in my other class that I had today, but I had somebody reach out to me on Facebook saying, he really wants to train, he really wants to run, but he's out of shape. This is what you do when you're out of shape. You don't go outside and try to bust out 10 miles, five miles. You get outside, you move your body. 20 minutes, 15 minutes. You just devote time to moving your body. I promise you, you do that every day. You're gonna see something and then that becomes addicting. Then you wanna start picking it up more. Then maybe you'll start jogging for a minute and then walk for three. You just have to get out there. You can't get any results by sitting still, right? One more minute. I just like keep trying to distract you by jabbing my jaws. Keep talking and then you don't realize how, how much time has gone by. Come on, pump it out, pump it out. Squeeze the core. 45 seconds. Especially if you're on the older side. Maybe your knees hurt, wear and tear from working. Maybe you have some underlining health issues. This is something almost everybody can do. There is no reason we can't get out and move our body. If it's cold, I don't know now or if it's everywhere, but I'm from Michigan. A girl in Michigan, I used to work in the mall. Take it back down first, I'll finish my story in three, two, one, 3.0, 4.0, recover. So I used to work in the mall and early morning, the stores were closed. We would be there like putting the stores together and you just see people walking around the mall doing laps. There's always something to be done. There's always somewhere to go, something to do. Remember, a minute goes by fast. Catch your breath. Good, keep going. 30 seconds. We pick it back up, 3.5, 4.5. Right? I know you're at home. Nobody can see if you want to dance, it's okay. They can't be worse than my dance moves. Here we go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, here we go, four point, oh, 3.5, 4.5, pick it up. There we go. Don't forget, squeeze those glutes. Squeeze them as we walk. Squeeze that core. Mm-hmm. Try, I didn't even talk about grabbing onto the treadmill today. If you're doing that, mm -mm. release, release the grip. We're not cheating, we're not gonna take and use our upper body to pull us up. We're using it, it's gonna build core strength without grabbing onto the handlebars, right? You have, to, you have to move your legs a little faster, you gotta squeeze your core a little tighter in order to keep this going. As Soon as we do this, that's what it feels like. It looks, it looks like what it's doing to your body. Crazy, craziness to your body. I mean, it's still working, but let go of the tread, guys. You got it. You could do it. Give me one more minute. We take it back down. Woo. Oh, I thought the beat was gonna drop again. I was getting ready for it. 45 seconds, guys. Then you get another minute recovery. Take the recovery. Grab some water. Towel off if you're a little sweaty. 
I saw all the time, man. I saw it just breathing. So, last 30. <sighs> Keep going. Last 20. I didn't even count how many walks we have. One, two, three, four, five. Five walks, two uphill walks. So seven. Lucky number seven. Oh, so lucky number. Five, four, three, two, three point oh, four point oh. Recover, relax. You're ready. Take it back up. Two more minutes. Power walk, okay? So again, it's 3.5 to 4.5. At any point, you could pick it up 0.1 if you didn't hit that 4.5 max. If you're super tall, you can take it higher than 4.5 strides a little wider naturally. Give me 40 more seconds. Let's hydrate. Grab some water. Oh man. Unlock water bottle. There we go. Twenty seconds. 4.5. 3.5, 4.5. You got ten. Eight. Five. Four. Three. Two. Let's go. Two minutes. Right? Feel that core work? Best thing about running is that it's low impact. So it's great for your joints. You have like joint pain. You're not jumping. So anytime we say low impact, it takes jumping out of it. Jumping always compresses the joints, pushes on like the kneecaps, getting stuff like that. This eliminates that. Soft on your body. It's great for your body. Let's go. Picking it up today. Squeeze those glutes, right? Got one minute here. You guys, don't be scared to comment after this workout. I wanna know what your best dance move was on the tread. As I know you're dancing, you can feel it. And maybe this one. Woo, 45 seconds. Keep working. I'm getting the move on. Man, yeah, this is how I power walk in the grocery store. I don't wanna be there longer than I have to. I'll be like carrots, bananas, broccoli. Move out of my way, people. They're like, who's this crazy lady at the grocery store? I'm like reaching over, getting apples, throwing them in the bag. I'm like, kids, hurry up. Come on, 15 more seconds. Get ready to recover. Five. Four, three, two, let's go. Man, I think I hit five. I think I was going really fast. I felt that one. One minute here. You guys are killing it. <sighs> They're not that bad, right? We're just picking it up for a little bit and then bringing it right back down. We're pushing ourselves just a little bit. Then we get to recover. 40 more seconds. As we power, power walk, I know that we're recovering right now. The arms can have a little bit more room to relax. When we get back to that power walk, keep it nice and tight. Open up those shoulders, open up the chest. Try not to hunch too far down. We're taking it back up. 4.5, 4.5, I don't wanna keep saying it wrong. 15 seconds. Here we go, here we go, we got 10. We got eight. Five, four, three, two, let's go. Did it say, did the music say I'm picking up? That's it, pick it up, pick it up. Okay, you can feel it in your abs, right? I want you to flex your abs. How do you flex your abs? Imagine you're laughing at something, go ha, ha. You know, you'll feel them flex. That's flexing your abs right there. Now have that feeling the whole time. 
It's going to help pull your legs up. It's going to help get that stride in there. Start 30 seconds down, 90 seconds to go already. Keep breathing. What I say, it's like bending those elbows and pump it out. And if you don't have a tread, you can do this outside. Trust me, you just, when I tell you to start picking up the pace, you just walk faster. If your incline does not work, you can always pick up your speed. Or if you have little weights, I would say twos or threes. While we're supposed to be doing that, or supposed to be in our power walk, grab your weights. Get a little extra in there. Always options, always something more. Always modifications. Like I said, the only thing you can't do is just not show up for yourself. You're here for 26 minutes. Be here for 26 minutes. Last 20. Like trying to be tough, but then smile at the same time for you guys. 15 seconds, you've got it, but don't give up. 10. 8. 5. 4. 3. Two, let's go, take it down. Again, hydrate, towel off. You're in it to win it now. You got 10 minutes left, all right? That's it, 10 minutes. We're gonna work harder. Maybe we take it up point one on our power walk, okay? I know you can. If it's fast, it's meant to be fast. Remember, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. It's hard because it's worth it. It's hard because you have to work for it. You give me 30 more seconds. We're gonna do it together, right? It's okay if you don't have to pick it up point one. I'm just here to motivate you and push you. I know you can do it. You're having a bad day. You're like, this girl is crazy. I don't wanna listen to her. I mean, she'll listen to me. I'm usually always right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ask my kids. Ha. But I just want to make sure that you just pick up your pace just a little bit more on these power walks. Again, it should be something where you feel the speed. It shouldn't be that easy to walk, right? One foot is on the tread. The other one is landing as the other one picks up. It's quick. It's tight. It's not as loose as a regular walk. Right, you should feel it in the legs. Yep, feel it in those abs. Again, we're feeling it in those abs. 90 seconds left. Let's go. What I actually want you guys to write in the comments after this is how good you feel after you finish a workout. And then your favorite dance move. Because I could be having the worst day ever on a walk. It doesn't have to be a run. I'll walk outside, I'll walk on the tread. I swear changes everything. I come in like a little ball of sunshine. I'm like floating, like da -da 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 -da. I'm like, hello everybody. I'm a different human now. Everybody's like, what just happened to her? I was like, oh, you know, just endorphins kicked in. Yeah, tell me how good you feel after you finish. 30 seconds. And if you don't feel good, you better turn it back on, do it all over again. Just kidding. Or am I? Come on, 20 seconds. Pump it out, pump it out. 15. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, three point oh, four point oh. Take it back down. All right. Guess what? We're done with the power walks. We're gonna pick it back up a little bit. We're going into our hills. First hills at a three incline. Three incline. First hill. So make sure we're hitting the right buttons on our tread. Speed that incline. Okay, because the next hill is five. You don't want to accidentally hit five on the speed. I'm all, go a little crazy up there. 
20 seconds, but plus five, so 30 seconds left. We're gonna do two, 3.5, 4.5. We're taking the speed back where it was, okay? Power walking, again, going on an incline. Our stances, our pace and our strides may be a little shorter. So just be mindful of that. This is where you test yourself to not touch this, all right? Think about this, strong core. 10 seconds, find that three, find that three on your tread, hit it. Three, two, let's go. Give me that 3.5, 4.5. These are it here, right? It's like we're going so fast, so fast, and then we go up that hill. So as we get up to the hill, we get to recover, okay? So only two minutes. Good, now you're gonna feel a little bit more in those inner thighs, right? Glutes, inner thighs. Think about the stride, right? Quick feet. When we're walking, it's a different way we land on our feet than when we're running. Say it again, say it in all my classes. But you go heel to toe, okay? So it's like we're rolling. Rolling smoothly. We're only got a minute, 15 seconds left. We go higher, we can go faster, right? Just hold what you got. I don't want it to end. I want to keep going. Give me a minute left. You get to take it back down a flat road, okay? Take it down the flat road, then we go back to 3.0, 4.0, where we were this whole time. It's the same recovery, but next time it's a different hill. Squeeze those glutes, man. Come on. Don't give up here. You might feel it in your calves a little bit more. We want it, we want that burn. What I say, it's gonna be worth it at the end. 30 more seconds. The last 20. <clears throat> 15. Yeah, 10. Nine. We got five, four, three, two. Lower the speed first, then the incline, okay? So we're only here for a minute. Go into the steepest hill. One more hill, steepest hill of the day. It's on a five incline. I don't wanna hear the, oh, I can hear it through the computer. I can hear it through your monitor. Nope. It's like, yes, five incline, I got this. That's the, that's the mentality, that's the energy we're going in with this. Only five? Yeah, that's it. 30 seconds, you take it there. 3.5, 4.5, no if, ands, or but. We're gonna kick this hill's butt right here. Right here, right now. 20 seconds though. So get some big air in there. Let go of the old stuff we don't need. We got a hill to crush. <clears throat> and 10. Five, four, three, two. Give me the five first on that incline. 3.5, 4 .5. Dun, 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 dun. It's my determination soundtrack for myself. It's gonna push you guys, I promise. Yeah, see it's not hard. It's like climbing the stairs, just fastly. And for two minutes, keep going. After this guys, we're gonna reach that finish line. You give me 90 seconds, keep pushing. Remember, Remember what you're walking for. You're not gonna get there if you get off this treadmill. You're not gonna get there if you give up. You're only gonna get there if you go through it, right? I was thinking of this analogy. The only way to get past something is to go through it, but then you can go around it. And I was like, that might not work, but if you go around it, that's cheating, okay? So the only way to really go past it is to go through it. And the only way we go through it is to keep walking, one minute. 50 seconds. We're doing it for us, right? So smile. You're gonna feel amazing after this. 20 seconds. No, I lied. Oh man, I'm so bad at counting sometimes. 40 seconds. 
I gave you more time. See, you're welcome. Now we have 30 seconds. Twenty now. Now it's a real twenty. We're gonna take it back down. Okay, our flat road. Three point oh, four point oh. Count with me. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hit it. Flat road first. The decline. Then hit your speed. How does that feel, guys? We're only here for 30 seconds. Let me take it down just a little bit more, okay? 3.04.0. By the time we get done declining, we'll take it down just a little bit. 10 seconds. Take it down 0.5. Wherever you're from, wherever you're at, take it down 0.5. In three, two, one. Oh, how does that feel? There is this going to be this feeling when you get off the tread, you finally sit down. It's gonna be this feeling of numbness, tingleness that goes all over your body. We call that the bliss. You earn that feeling. Enjoy it, appreciate it. 15 seconds, you can hit that stop button. Thank yourself for meeting here, for bringing you here on this tread. I thank you for meeting me here on this tread. Remember, this is Ibex running. This was our power walk and hill. Hit that stop button, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>